You got problems in your life and you need advice. All you gotta do is ask Chantel. So today we're gonna be making these yummy creamy baby peas. So I'm taking you on a trip with me to the market because I like to make my baby food from fresh ingredients. So to the frozen food section, we will go and we're gonna get some frozen peas. Frozen veggies are just as good for your baby and the price is right. So with a teaspoon of water and a dash of salt, you're gonna steam these peas. When you start to see the steam, go ahead and add the lid and you will cook your peas for about 10 minutes, give or take. I got these cute little plastic containers from Babies R Us and that is my baby food processor. Side note, if you don't want to add the salt, you don't have to, but Selena likes her food seasoned. She eats our food now, so she wouldn't even eat it if it didn't have a little bit of salt. And it's just a tad. When the peas are done, go ahead and add them into the food processor or blender is fine. And I also add a little bit of water to it to make sure that it will be nice and pureed. So here's another optional ingredient that I know is gonna turn heads. Uh, I did add a little bit of sugar, about half a teaspoon. If you like, you can add molasses, or you can just add a fruit, like an apple. These are actually pretty sweet, but like I said, Selena is a real picky eater, so I get her to eat her peas, and this is how I do it. Plus, let's be honest, when I eat these, I eat them with a little bit of butter, too. Here's where you blend until you get your piece to the right consistency. If your baby has been eating solids for a while, you can put less water. And if your baby's just starting on solids, then put more water. Now it's time for the containers. Once you have the right puree, you're gonna go ahead and add to your containers. These, like I said, I got a Baby's RS and they freeze very well. I got six in a pack and it actually came with a tray for storage, it's pretty awesome. If you were wondering how much of this your baby might eat, Selena eats one of these per day. Look at that green goodness. So some of this I will freeze and some of it I will put in the refrigerator to give to her when she goes with her babysitter and I add, um, the peas with some sweet potato because she loves sweet potato and this combination is really good and she will eat it just like this now I wanted you guys to see how there is such a big difference in color in the natural ones that I'm making and the ones you can buy in the store not knocking those I mean there may be those days that you got to grab one but if you can make it yourself I think it's so much better for your baby and it really doesn't take that much time you can get this done in about 15 minutes and I do it once every two weeks. So if you like this video, please do not forget to hit that like button and I wanna know how you guys make your baby food. Leave comments below, love you. Thanks for watching, see you soon.